Okay, tiling. Some folks uh, said they were interested in tiling. Let's see what I got for that. Create, nope, not, okay, it would be this one. Um, save changes, no. Let's look at, tiling's pretty easy because really it's this thing called the raster tiler. What, else, what is it going to say, Dave? Um, the raster tiler allows you to choose either the number of tiles or the tile size. Yeah. Um, and it gives you different options for each. Um, at the bottom, it, produces, it puts uh, several attributes on the feature, um, mostly which right. the column and row of the tile, so you can keep track of them afterwards. And here we basically, typically we use a concatenator to glue together tile, like a, some kind of naming scheme. So this goes tile and then the row underscore column, puts it in file name, and then on this thing we must be fanning out by file name. And I did run this last night, it's a little bit big to run right now. Let's open the containing folder, and there you go. Uh, these are the uh, various tiles yeah, that came out. Yeah, we've tiled that ECW up in four pieces. Yes. Okay. So that's uh, that's tiling. So that's pretty pretty straightforward. Web tiling. So uh, let's take a look at what that is. And oops, yeah. Okay. Web tiling. Web map tiles. Here we go. So basically, we're reading in a bunch of geotiffs in this example, and we're producing uh, a bunch of tiles with the web map tiler. And what are these things for, Dave? Um, this is for ba essentially creating an image uh, tile cache if you're doing some sort of uh, image server um, on the web. Yeah. So just sort of running through the steps there, the, the, one of the key things to do when you're doing this sort of operation is, again, I'm using the raster wow. interpretation coercer up front, and I'm, con I'm forcing it from essentially RGB24 to RGBA32. So I'm adding an alpha channel okay. in there. Okay, yes. Um, and this is very important for, for web map tiling. So now, now our, our source data doesn't really have any empty pixels to begin with, but as part of the web map tiling and the reprojecting we're going to do, empty pixels will be created in some of these images. Yes. So the, all of our operations that create empty pixels, if you have an alpha channel, we'll right. set that alpha to zero. So make sure that they're transparent. Got it. And that's why, because here, before you did that, you had to get into this fancy spherical mercator, which is the chosen thing for... For all web map tiles, Bing, right. uh, Google, and OS... Yeah. Perhaps OSM, yeah. And so that's that's the thing here. Now, I just want to... I'll just deviate. I started up FME 2013, because in the FME 2013, we've got a new web map tiler, and we'll talk more about FME cool. 2013 later. And have you seen this yet, Dave? No, no, it's, uh, it's, it's something new. So you basically can choose some different schemes here because OGC has a spec and so we have uh, included their scheme as well as um, the, uh, the others. So, uh, so that's something that uh, I wanted to make sure folks were aware of. Yeah, we should also talk about in that web map trailer the uh, zoom levels. Oh, there right. Are, there are settings for zoom levels in there, um, a minimum zoom level and a maximum zoom level. Now, if you leave those blank, which most people will, it will FME will sort of calculate the optimal parameters to, so we won't we won't produce empty images if you, if the if the data doesn't fit the zoom levels. We also won't zoom in past the the raw resolution of the image. So you can see I've got a web page there um, that uh, we must have. Well, there it comes in these other. There we are at higher resolution, slowly coming in. Yeah. You can see it. All of that is the data that is produced by this. Uh, example. I don't know. Auditory, is it going to come in? Doesn't look like it. So that must be in tighter than what my uh, zoom levels are now. Yeah. So there's no tile there at that zoom level. Right. So um, that sounds good. 